guys and welcome back to today's video. So today is Saturday and it is almost 9 o'clock in the morning. So I'm still in my pyjamas from last night. Esme's in her pyjamas. She's just been having some porridge, haven't you, Esme? <laughs> you want to say hi? Say hi, yeah. <laughs> she loves the camera. But she's just been having some porridge. Really? She's just been having some porridge, but she's not really that fussy. She doesn't want any more. Oh my word! How oh, lovely! Having my own landscaping company has enabled me to transform the back of the house. Bless her. When she sneezes, because she's got um, a cleft palate, it comes out of her nose. <laughs> it's not the nicest, but um, I don't know if I just said she's absolutely full of a cold. Bless her. So I'm just gonna get some water and steam some like vapor rub and see if I can sit next to it and see if that will help her a bit. So she started with a bit of the cold yesterday and she's woke up today probably like either the same as yesterday or a bit worse. Like she's very like snivelly and like she's got a bit of a cough. I'm not concerned that it's a virus at all. It's definitely a cold because she's really like chesty and she's not like got really a temperature or anything like that. So yeah, I'm just going to steam. I don't know whether to use. I don't want it obviously to be too hot because I don't want to burn her or anything so i think i might do a bit of boiling water and then like mix it in and then do the rest like tap water where did mommy put the vapor rub here it is so i've just got this snuffle babe vapor rub so today like i said it's saturday we are going to be going to a little photo shoot today sam's just going to get his hair cut i don't know i'm calling him baby porridge sam's going to get his hair cut and then he is going to come back and then, and then my uncle's going to pop over really quickly because he's going to finish a bit of painting that he started last weekend or the weekend before, I think. Give me a minute, my darling. Um, and then I'll photo shoot at two o'clock. So it's probably about 20 to 30 minutes away. So we have to like get ready and go and stuff. Probably like half one in. Maybe just before because we don't want to be late. But I hope the weather stays dry. It's dry at the minute, but it's like, it has been raining in the night, it's like wet. Between the dogs barking and Esme moaning. I didn't get a minute's peace, do I, Esme? Do you want to show everyone your new book from the party? Yeah. So this is Esme's new book that she got from her seeing Santa yesterday from her baby group. So I've never seen this before. It's the baby's first feet touchy feely playbook. And it's so nice. It's got like um the little touchy thing there. And it's got like a little scratchy bit, it's got fluffy wings. It's got like glittery stars, it's got these holes, there's so much, it's got like these little indent trails, it's got like a felty thing there, all the, these are all like indents. This is really fluffy. And then there's like cutouts to the previous page so you can see, are you feeling it? This is the water with the vapour rub. I don't know if it's really steamy, but I'm going to try and get her next to it so she breathes it in. But I don't know how to do it because Esme literally will grab anything. Like yesterday at the baby group, if I didn't already say, she pulled over my mulled wine. Luckily it wasn't hot so she didn't burn herself. But she pulled over mummy's drink, didn't you? You cheeky lady. Do you want to say hi, yeah? Say hi, yeah? Hi, yeah? You're so pretty. We need to do your tube today, don't we? Because it's going to come out. As we're going to pour that otherwise. She's got a cold feet out. They're not cold. I don't know if I'm doing this right. I've never done it before, so I don't know what the hell I'm doing. But I'm trying my best. <laughs> I don't want her to put her hands in it. Sorry. You're going to kick it off the wet tub or something. Mummy knows what it's made like. So you breathe, 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 breathe. Sniff, sniff, sniff. 
Sniff, sniff, sniff. Oh my word, we have ourselves a little pianist. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Life without Trinity? I can't imagine it. Get comfy this Christmas with a pack from JML. The multi so the time is down 10 o'clock i've not really done my hair i've just put it into a burn i've just got dressed so i'm wearing my mickey mouse christmas dress so i wore this maybe even last sunday the saturday or sunday i don't know but basically i did like um a big dark wash last night and wash all of my christmas dresses because obviously i've been wearing them all of, all week you might as well get the use out of them i'm literally wearing nothing in december but christmas stuff basically oh i must have left my dirty jeans on the chair from last night i literally don't even remember getting dressed last night i think sam of holding there's man i got dressed so i'll just put these in the wash um <laughs> like attacked by the plant so I don't know if I've actually ever done like a little bathroom tour. So I'll just show you guys our little mini toys. And like this is my favourite room in the house. So this is our wallpaper. And then we've got like this wooden uh, laundry basket. This was from um, Aldi. This is obviously a one-off. I don't always stock it. But it just kind of went well in here and it fits in. So we can just like open the door. So we like that. This plant was from Primark. I think it's from like one of the biggest stores. I've not seen it since. But... It's obviously fake, so... Well, actually, no, it's from Asda. Yeah, it was from Asda. So I quite like that. It just kind of frames the window. So we've got this little wicker unit. This was from Asda, like, online a while ago. And then up here, my dad fitted this marble shelf when we moved in. So it's just a bit of leftover work top from downstairs. And it just kind of fits perfectly, because obviously there's not really any room for storage in here. So in here, we've got, like, toilet rolls. And then this was like it's probably really dusty this was like um, a little fake terrarium from ikea which we got online this is a little turtle i didn't really know where to put it but this was um it's like marbly and this was from our honeymoon in mexico and then we've got this candle this is coconut and almond it's a cactus i think it's possibly primark and this was bought for me by one of my best friends when we first got our other house and then this was from the same friend as well. I think I think it was from the same friend. This I presume is probably Primark too, but I'm not 100 percent sure. So I'm not 100 percent sure if I'm like set on this thing yet. This basket was Primark too quite a while ago. But that's how the display is looking for now. And then we've just got like this little rug. I've I just washed this yesterday. So yeah, that's our little bathroom. It's really small, but I just really love it. It's just I don't know, when you're in there, it's just nice and upbeat. So I guess while I'm up here, I might as well show you, like, the rest of the upstairs. So this is our hallway. So it's quite quite patterned again. And we've got, obviously, patterned floor in. But it's just, like, kind of sets the scene. It's only with one wall that's obviously patterned. The rest is, like, white. So that's our loft hatch. And then we're going to be replacing that light at some point. But we need my brother to come over and do it. So on here... These are just the pictures. I do need to change these up at some point, but I haven't got around to it. So that's obviously the day that Esme was born. That's Esme when she was in special care. Um, I think at this point she had the tube in her mouth, so you can't see it. This was our wedding day. And then we have a picture of me and Sam and Esme in the same place. But we haven't... That's downstairs ready to put on the wall, but I just haven't got around to it, to be honest. And then this is my wedding day. This is all my bridesmaids. And then this is the Erin cupboard. At the minute, there's an issue that the door handle's, like, broke, so we need to fix that. But me and Sam aren't very handy. So we've got, like, a massive tank in here, and then shelves that are quite messy. So these are, like, all the bath towels. These are all the hand towels and, like, mats, and then they're all Esme's towels. So she has quite a lot of towels. And then this is our main bathroom. So, well, just the bath upstairs. So we've got, obviously, the bath. We really need to sort out it's just a bit messy this is the sink unit and then inside is like a bit of a mess really it's like just all sorts of things mostly some stuff and then a few like ball ollie watch it baby a few bubble baths and stuff and then here it used to be nice displayed but obviously it has made sterilizers there so it's constantly being in use and it's just messy so 
<laughs> this is um like a bottle brush, not a toilet brush. And then there was a yank. There used to be just the Yankee Candle and then the nice flower, but obviously that's been like shoved to the back now. So yeah, and then we've got this thing that needs the mirror definitely needs a wipe. But again, it's messy. These are all like my breast pump parts, and then my reusable face cloths, and then inside it's just really messy. So we definitely need to sort it out. These are all the skincare bits that I'm still using at the minute. So last night I took my makeup off using this Peaches and Clean from Soap and Glory. I absolutely love that with the reusable cotton pads and then obviously the toner and then the face exfoli exfoliating cleanser. Um, yeah, there's like some of her breast pump parts in here and some dummies that Esme doesn't really like so they just stay in here. That was from when I was pregnant. I've still got some pregnancy stuff so yeah but here as well this has turned out a bit messy also so this is my hacker pump and then some like bath salts my mum got me this bubble bath from avon i'm not sure what it is cranberry and orange and then there's some tea tree face wash that was recommended by just jade says these are the sterilizing tablets i'm still using these were in one of my food hauls a while ago and then this is just like a little sample of bath soak from Scentsy, so I've been using that. So I'm going to go, really need to take my nail varnish off because it's really gross. So now that little tour's over, there's only like the spare room, which I'm not going to show you because it's really disgusting. Like it's, we need new carpets, we need a new bed and it's full of like junk. <laughs> it's full of Esme's bits that I'm sorting out. So yeah, I'm not going to show you in there, but I'm going to wrap up a few last Christmas presents. I think I've got Sam's dad's present, Sam's granddad's present. I don't know if I've wrapped, I don't think I've wrapped any of Sam's parents' presents at all, actually. And then there's something that I'm making for Sam that I need to finish. So he's downstairs with Esme probably for the next hour. So I might get that out and give that a go if I've got time. But I think I'll wrap this present first and see how much time I have. So whilst I'm here as well, actually, I need to write some Christmas cards. I've literally so many packs of Christmas cards to write and I just never really send them. I just think it gets to the point where it's too late and then I never bother. But this year, obviously... It's our third Christmas in our own home, I think, and I think that it would be nice to send people some Christmas cards because normally my mum does it. So I know, like my my dad's auntie sent us a Christmas card, so I'm going to write her because her son is coming today to like like I said, my uncle is coming to paint. So really, <laughs> he's just knocked me. It's going to look like a child wrote it. Now I'm going to start wrapping. I've decided, I don't know if I've already showed you, but I've decided to start using this Christmas pudding wrapper paper. This is like a new one I've just opened. Rolly is here walking all over the presents. I'm going to go. So hopefully you can watch this little segment of wrapping, but you won't be able to see my face. So first up is this. This is for Sam's granddad, and it's just this Nivea Shave Duo. We always tend to get him some sort of little gift set. So this is something that I've already wrapped for some film and dad. This was wrapped the other day. It's like, um, well, I'm not going to say actually because they might watch it, but it's something quite nice. So I'm going to try and keep his parents and grandparents separately just because I don't want them to get mixed up because obviously it's mum and dad on, on them and I don't want them to get confusing. So 
Next up is this gift for Sam's dad. It's these Guinness truffle chocolates from Matalan. So these were, I don't know how nice they're going to be. They were like £10. So it's quite expensive really for some chocolates. But he loves Guinness so I don't mind. It just says they're a creamy ganache flavoured with Guinness beer set in rich dark chocolate. We always seem to get in something Guinness related. So this is also for Sam's dad. So these are Sam's mum's dad's nan and granddad's presents rat. I can hear his mate's just woken up downstairs. I haven't had a chance to do Sam's present that I'm making for him. So I don't know if I'll do that later or tomorrow. I think this is probably going to end up being just today's vlog. It was going to be like a weekend vlog, but I think then I think this is going to be just one day vlog. I've vlogged quite a lot today. Like I vlogged most of the wrapping. It was like 15 minutes long. So before I finish wrapping the last few presents, I'll just turn the camera off because I'm going to time lapse it anyway. But I didn't want to have like millions of hours of footage. So this is the one present for my dad out of that pile. So I'm going to just add it to the sack. What is being such a bear? What are you doing? We just redid her sticker, but it's coming up again. So she's got toast and she's got a biscuit. Which one are you going to eat first? You've already eaten most of your toast, haven't you? Which one's, which one's your favourite? Can you say mama? Can you say mum mum? Say mum mum mum. Say hiya. Say no. No. <laughs> Look at that chocolate face. You're going to have your picture taken today. It's supposed to get sunny soon. You're going to have your photo taken. Are you going to have a bite of toast? That's nice. Mmm, <laughs> yummy. So the time is now half. No, it's 12 o'clock. It's stopped raining actually. It's just a bit miserable. I'm just getting Sam's present from under Esme's cot. That's where I hid it. <laughs> um, so he's downstairs with Esme. And my uncle's just. Painting the wall, drying up the hair dryer, <laughs> as you do. I thought I'd come up and show you guys my son's present, which is a secret. So, I need the sewing kit, which is a hint. <laughs> um, I'm waiting on like a few gifts for people, but I haven't had any posts today. I don't know when they are going to be coming, so. We have to leave here at half one at the latest to get to our photography session. Hopefully the photographer said it's going to dry up later today. So hopefully that's the case. So I'll show you my little sewing kit. This was actually left in our old house by our previous owners. It was found in the loft when we first moved in. So I've had it a couple of years now. I don't really sew to be honest. I let my grandma do it. It's easier. <laughs> but yeah, I do have the sewing kit, which is very useful. This little kit that I got, obviously, like I said, it was left in the house. It's just embroidery thread. So she, the old neighbour, must have left some embroidery stuff in. And there was this bit of card, which is a bit messy. I think it must have came with that cross stitch. I bought these pack of sewing needles from the pound shop, I think it was. And then I bought this pack, which is actually really good. So each needle is for something different. So I'm up, I'm like sewing something into like a canvas type material for Sam. So... That's why I'm using that specific needle. But now I can't remember where I left the needle. I think it might be in the bag of some present. I'm not really sure what that is. I have no idea. If anyone knows what this is, let me know. But yeah, so it's a nice little like box really. It's got so many different nice colours, which is good. So I'm going to show you Sam's present now. Well, I guess it's his main present. But if you do know Sam, then don't share with him what his present is because obviously it's a secret so he's got these i'm not going to say what it is because he's downstairs 
So these are just plain black Converse and I've been sewing into them some patches. So I've not finished, which is why I need to do it. So these were bought, I bought these from um, Office, if you can see. <laughs> so I think they were like £50 or something like that. But I bought some badges and I've, been, I've sewed them on basically. So this one's already sewed on and I thought that I would leave that like hanging over the edge as a bit of effect. Like I said, please excuse my nails, they're really disgusting. I'm going to paint them before I go probably. But yeah, so that one's sewed on. It's really hard to sew in, especially like here, because it's like a, a hard heel bit. And this side's not finished, so this is currently in process. So if you can see, like you can see the stitch inside. Obviously, if you decided he didn't like them, he could just pull this, like he could just unpick the stitches and you would never know. But I just thought it was something like it's a nice personal touch and I'm hoping that he does like it. So this is the other one. I think this pair is complete. So these have got this orange one that's already sewed. Well, yellow, I think, already sewed on. And then the other side is also already sewed on. So they were so hard to sew on, but that one's already done. And, like, you wouldn't really know it's sewed on. Well, that corner probably needs a t another stitch. But, like I said, it's really hard to do because it's... Um, because it's like really difficult to sew through. I can hardly even see where. I can't even see where I've sewed this. I must be that good. <laughs> no, can't see at all. I can actually see like one stitch like here or here. But you can hardly even see where it's been stitched to be honest. So obviously for each one I've sewed with the same colour. So this one you can see I've sewed with the yellow thread so it really matches. Like This is where it came in really useful to match the colours. But now I've got this out of the bag I really don't know where the needle is. So I was using number four needle which is not there. Oh wait, here it is. I left it with the white thread on, that's good. Okay, so I'm gonna, it's a really thick needle. I'm gonna get on with this shoe and then this is his last present to wrap. So I don't know if I'll get it done today because like I said, I've got, well, I've got to thread the needle and then like I said, it's really stiff to get through. But I'm gonna give it my best shot and then I'll come back to you guys when it's done. I might film me doing it. I just had to run downstairs and give my uncle his Christmas card before he left. Bye! We just got back from Asda, so I'm just going to film a food haul for like a separate video, not this vlog. But I think after this food haul, it's going to be everything. We had our little photo shoot. I've got a bit of makeup on, but it's come off now, and we've been obviously out and about and stuff like that the photo shoot literally took like 10 minutes the guy did it in the back of his car like in the boot in a black sheet and then he's gonna superimpose esme onto some christmasy backgrounds 
but it's been like a really nice chilled Saturday really we've not done too much but we're gonna have some Asda pizzas for dinner and then that is gonna be the end of the video but I really hope that you liked today's vlog if you did please give it a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one bye guys